Triumph Tiger 1200 XC. Review Tubular Steel Trellis. Think of the XC as a rugged looking adventure with all the bells and whistles that's excellent on the road and can handle light trails and you won't be disappointed. But if you are expecting a big tanked world explorer with long travel suspension, you may feel slightly shortchanged. Ride quality and brakes. On a gravel trail the XC is certainly capable. Selecting off-road mode gives you ABS on the front but not the rear and enough traction control so slide the rear before the electronics bring it back into line, giving you the confidence to play around on the bike. It's certainly no lightweight at 248 kg dry, which can be a little intimidating for less experienced off-roaders, and its lack of suspension travel does see the sump guard hit the floor over jumps, but it is okay. More experienced riders can select Off-Road Pro, which disables the TC and ABS. On the road it is excellent, just like the XR model. Engine. Yes it's more powerful than the GS, but that's not the point, what makes Triumph's triple stand out is a superb throttle connection and overall feeling of quality. The transition from a closed throttle to a partially open one is incredibly smooth and the triple motor is vibe-free and oh so easy going thanks to its abundant mid-range as well as pleasingly zingy up the top end. It just feels a classy unit and this impression of refinement is further enhanced by Triumph's clever use of technology. Reliability and build quality. The overall level of finish is appears good on the Tiger, but previous generations have suffered a bit when it comes to retaining their looks. Reliability has never been called into doubt, but visually they can look tatty if used and not cared for. Service intervals are pleasingly high with the major one due every 10,000 miles. Value versus Rivals With a price tag of £16,950 the XCA is the most expensive adventure bike currently on the market, but the Triumph does boast features its competition lacks. If you want to save a few quid, a slightly lower spec XCX option is available costing £14,950. Equipment The XC comes in two formats, X and A, with the spec increasing alongside the price tag. Both models come absolutely loaded with kit and as standard have cornering ABS and TC, a TFT dash, five power modes, semi-active suspension, cruise control, an electronic screen and far more besides. The top of the range of version adds an extra programmable power mode and off-road pro, an up-and-down quickshifter, adaptive cornering lights, hill start assist and billet machines foot pegs to the party. Where the XR models have cast wheels, the XC's gained spoke wheels. Specs Engine size 1215 cubic centimeters Engine type 4-stroke, liquid-cooled triple Frame type tubular steel trellis Fuel capacity 20 liters. Seat height 835 millimeters. Bike weight 248 kilograms. Front suspension 48 millimeters, inverted WP forks, semi-active damping, standard XR non-semi-active. Rear suspension WP monoshock, semi-active, damping with automatic preload adjustment, standard XR non-semi-active. Front brake 2 by 305 mm disc, 4 piston radial caliper Brembo, cornering ABS. Rear brake 282 disc, 2 piston caliper, cornering ABS. Front tire size 120/70x19. Rear tire size 170/60x17. MPG, costs and insurance. Average fuel consumption 54.3 miles per gallon. Annual road tax £101. Annual service cost £240. New price £16,950. Used price £8,200 to £13,700. Insurance Group. How much to insure? Warranty term 2 years.